Jack Norton's killers celebrated after they stabbed him. Jack was killed in the Darleston area of Warsaw and he was found on Grassland in Cookie Park on the 7th of December 2022. He had spent the day out with several friends who were girls and on their way back he bumped into a former school friend who was called Brandon Price who was with a 15 year old boy. The two boys suggested to Jack and the two girls that he was with that they came and chilled out in the park shortly after and Jack agreed to this and they all went to Cookie Park. At this point the 15 year old became aggressive and started making threats towards Jack Jack and said that he wanted to kill him, set him on fire and also run him over with a car. It was at this point that Jack started to signal to the girls that he wanted to go and one of them stood up to say, walk me home. This is when Brandon Price stabbed Jack several times. Price and the 15 year old then ran out of the park and they were caught on CCTV laughing. Sadly, despite the best efforts of emergency services, Jack died from a stab wound to the heart. The autopsy said that he had one stab wound to the chest, which was eight centimetres deep and penetrated his heart. She said that he also had cuts to the back of his hand and he was trying to defend himself. It was alleged the 15-year-old boy egged Price on and despite not wielding the knife, he was just as responsible as Price for the murder. The court heard that CCTV caught them as they made their escape and went down streets that were surrounding the park. They also picked up the audio where they once were heard saying, kill, kill. Detectives arrested both the defendants in the days after the murder and found traces of Jack's blood on the clothing that they wore that day. At the trial, Price tried to say that he acted in self-defence, but the teenager said that he was present, but he denied any involvement. Brandon Price said in court during the trial that he had stabbed him, but this was during an argument. He said that Jack had been quite hostile and they were in a disagreement and it was at this point that he stabbed Jack. But the jury didn't believe him and he was convicted of his murder and this week they have been jailed. Brandon Price was jailed for 20 years minimum and the teenager, 15 years old, was jailed for 15 years. The detective in charge of the case, Hannah Whitehouse, from the Homicide Unit said, This was a totally unprovoked attack on a defenceless teen. He was simply hanging out with his friends and the two defendants joined up to kill him and they had every intention of bringing harm to Jack. His family still don't know why he was targeted and this adds to their distress and the injustice of the whole situation. So I want to send my condolences to the family of Jack Lowe, also known as Jack Norton. And I really want to hear what people have to say in the comments. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace. This was a very CCTV-centred investigation. And, and what we found through that meticulous work was that Jack encountered um, the two defendants on Franchise Street um, near Wensbury when he was with two friends himself. He didn't recognise the defendants at first, had their faces covered, but they seemed to know him and Jack then got speaking to them and, and did know them. They've walked together along the street for a bit and then have gone into an area called Cookie Park by people locally, a, a bit of grassland just off Cook Street. Throughout the time when the group are together, the younger defendant has consistently threatened Jack, saying things like, I want to learn to drive so I can drive at you and I want to put you on a fire and burn you. And consistently threatened him and goaded Jack. Ultimately got to the point where Jack didn't feel comfortable and said to the friends he was with he wanted to leave um, and so went to say goodbye to these two males. The elder of the two, Brandon Price, um, who's now 19, then lashed out with Jack um, with a knife, a kitchen knife, um, going to stab him about four times, causing serious injury to Jack's heart. What I think really compounds this offence is we see on CCTV that the two offenders run out of the park and there's some audio on one of the CCTV cameras that captures what um, the prosecution case is that is the two of them whooping, celebrating and that one of them and we don't know which seems to be shouting kill, kill. The two of them run off um, quickly hiding the knife down a drain which is also captured on CCTV. Um, and then seem to continue off and act out what's happened, um, which again is captured on CCTV as they make their escape. I hope from the verdicts that there is some justice for Jack's family from this, but there will never ever be a way of bringing Jack back and he's been taken in the prime of his life uh, because of the actions of these two teenagers and that's something that will be really, really difficult to recover from.